Also just want to say one thing um, uh, in relation to, to some of the, uh, some, one of the things I, I saw yesterday. You know, we signed the, the Parents' Rights in Education bill. It's interesting when, like, a Disney-owned ABC would put that out on tweet. They'd say, Governor DeSantis signs bill to prohibit uh, instruction in sexual identity and gender identity in some grades. Some grades. Why would they say some grades instead of K through three? It's just amazing if you're trying to inform the... So you saw a lot of this. But then for Disney to come out and put a statement and say that the bill should have never passed and that they are going to actively work to repeal it, I think one was fundamentally dishonest, but two, I think that crossed the line. This state is governed by the interests of the people of the state of Florida. It is not based on the demands of California corporate executives. They do not run this state. They do not control this state. I also thought it was interesting. I talked to the Speaker of the House yesterday afternoon, and he said Disney never called him while they were putting this through the House. They didn't seem to have a problem with it when it was going through. If this was such an affront, why weren't they speaking up at the outset? And yet they won't. And then for them to say they're going to actively work to repeal substantive protections for parents as a company that is supposedly marketing its services to parents with young children, uh, I think they crossed the line. And, you know, people ask me, you know, kind of about, you know, their posture on the bill. I said, you know what? If we would have put in the bill that you were not allowed to have curriculum that discussed the oppression of the Uyghurs in China, Disney would have endorsed that in a second. And that's the hypocrisy of this. And, um, you know, we're going to make sure we're fighting back when people are threatening our parents and threatening our kids.